more than 1,960 Hmong boys were castrated. Jilyuch Sang, transliterated from Hmong, refers to the area between Giang and Huashi today. Jilyuch Sang, translated into Chinese, means a good place where you can settle down and live. Outside the north gate of the city wall of Giang, there is a huge stone, which is black and bright, and can reflect people's shadows. It can be used as a mirror. People at that time were in awe and regarded the black stone as an auspicious thing, called the place here black stone. There are many branches of the Hmong nationality. What is Dong Hmong? Dong Hmong is the Hmong people who currently live in the Gaupa area in the south of Giang. The men wear blue gowns and the women wear boat-shaped headdresses. They are called Dong Hmong by outsiders because they call themselves Dong Hmong. According to the Hmong ancient songs, Dong Hmong didn't live in Gaupa at first, but lived in Jeluojang. Glochseng is now the old city of Giang. In ancient times, it was a virgin forest. The Hmong people opened it up into a wide paddy field dam and settled around the dam. The rich land of Glochseng made the Huaxia people jealous, so they all came to invade and occupy it. Because King Hmong was familiar with the weather and terrain conditions here, he used the weather and geographical conditions to organize a counterattack and successfully defended this homeland. Later, the Huaxia people also learned about the weather conditions here. On the eighth day of the fourth month of the lunar calendar, Hmong King Yalu died heroically here on this black stone. He was beheaded by the government army to show the public after the defeat of the war. In order to remember this tragic history, the Hmong people have such a commemorative festival, and the black stone has naturally become a sacred object for the Hmong people near Giang. After Hmong King Yalu died in battle, Dong Hmong had to withdraw from Jeluchseng and rebuild his home in the Alpine and barren high slopes and more remote places. Only on April 8th every year, everyone comes to Haishitu to commemorate King Hmong. Later, it was converted into a fountain. In the period of the Republic of China, it was converted into a bronze statue platform. Since then, every April 8th, the Hmong people gather in the fountain in Giang to worship and remember their heroic ancestors. The Hmong people with a tradition of rice cultivation have built layers of terraced fields on the plateau of Gaupa, and the endless terraced fields have allowed the Dong Hmong branch to grow and develop. In the Tianshan period of the Ming Dynasty, in 1457, Gaupa experienced successive years of drought. People starved to death in various villages one after another. Tian Ludwa, the king of Hmong province, convened everyone to discuss countermeasures. Some suggested recapturing Jeluojang, and some advocated a long-distance attack on Duyun City. After repeated discussions, they finally decided to attack Duyun City. Provincial Tian Lu Duo organized a team, quietly marched eastward along the ridge, broke through Duyun City without anyone noticing, and transported the food and weapons in the city back to Gaupa. This is a terrible situation. The imperial court sent two generals, Bai Gui and Fang Ying, to command hundreds of thousands of troops from Yunnan, Guizhou, Sichuan, and Hunan, and some indigenous troops from Guizhou to attack Gaupa for the crime of declaring themselves king. At first, the Dong Hmong people used cavalry and favorable terrain to beat the Ming army to pieces. Later, the Ming army also formed cavalry, first cleared the Hmong villages outside Gaupa, formed an encirclement around Gaupa, and then attacked Gaupa from Shermin. Shermin Mountain is the gateway to Gaupa. The terrain here is very dangerous, and a few people can defend it. Provincial Tian Lu Duo sent heavy troops to guard Shermin strictly. The Ming army attacked from below the racecourse, but they could not attack for a long time and suffered heavy casualties. Later, the Ming army used a trick to let the small trumpeter be captured by the Hmong army. The Hmong army had no trumpeter, so they left the trumpeter behind. After the trumpeter inspected the terrain, he found that there was a small road in the canyon on the left to go around the mountain behind Shermin. So he blew beep, beep, beep every day and passed this secret to the Ming army with the sound of the horn. After the Ming army got the news, they stepped up their frontal feint attack and secretly sent elite soldiers to go around the high slope along the Hongyan Canyon and attack Shermin from behind. The Shermin Hmong army was attacked by the enemy, and they were either killed or jumped off the cliff to their death. 
The Dong Mong uprising was brutally suppressed, and Lu Duo, the provincial governor, was escorted to the capital for punishment. In this battle, more than 12,000 Hmong people in Galpa were massacred, more than 5,000 women were captured, and more than 1,900 children were castrated and sent to the capital. Being treated as the emperor's slaves, more than 600 Hmong villages were destroyed, and the Hmong people in the Galpa area had 10 houses and 9 empty houses, and the countryside was barren. Later, the government had to relocate Bai and Han people from Yashui and other places to cultivate the barren terraced fields in Huaying and other places. Judging from the inscription Hongji Gingshin, Hongbian soldiers coming inscribed Yongjin Bieni on the Sherman Cliff Stone carving, the Ming Dynasty's use of troops against Galpa lasted for decades. Ironically, the chieftain of Hongbian Chuedong Song Dynasty, who was the vanguard of suppressing Galpa in the Ming Dynasty, soon raised the banner of anti Ming, but was completely suppressed by the Ming army, ending hundreds of years of chieftain history. According to Minging's own records, in March of the fourth year of Tianchun, 1460, Ruan Rang castrated 1,565 young children of Donglong prisoners of war 329 died soon, and in order to keep the number at 1,565, hundreds of children were plundered again for castration. Due to the barbaric methods and limited medical conditions, many young children died after being castrated. The mortality rate was as high as 21%. The number reported to the emperor was 1565. Now 329 people died at once, so Ruan Rang plundered again hundreds of young children were castrated, and 1,565 survived. Song Gwen Rang castrated at least 1,963 young children of prisoners of war. This is the case with male children. All the girls are directly sold, become slaves, or become concubines of the Han people.